This week kicks off March Madness. We know you're a fan of the Tar Heels where your son played in college. They've got an eight, they've got, what do they have, the eight and nine matchup against Marquette. How difficult of a game is UNC looking at right here? Oh, it's, it's going to be extremely difficult for them. Uh, but I got to tell you, Hubert Davis, who you know was a teammate of mine with the Knicks, has yeah. done a hell of a job with this. Uh, Armando Baycott has been a, a godsend with the season he's had. Caleb Love's improved. Uh, R.J. Davis. Like, they're a really good basketball team. They're the type of team, honestly, I could see them losing this game, and I could see yeah. them getting to the Final Four. You know, yeah. they have that kind of talent on the roster. So I'm nervous. Any, and you know, historically, any 8-9 matchup is going yeah. to be a challenge, and it's going to be a tough game for them. But I like how they're playing, you know, absent of what happened against Virginia Tech. But Virginia Tech showed they're a really good team because they manhandled Duke as well. So uh, yeah. I, I'm excited for the tournament to watch them. Uh, I'm looking forward to what Hubert and the gang can do. Speaking of Duke, you know, you won your NCAA title back in 1990 against the Duke team, coached by your young Coach K. What does Coach K represent to you when you think about college basketball? I think Coach K is the greatest college coach that's ever lived. And, and that's with all due respect to John Wooden and some of the other greats. And listen, yes, I'm partial to Dean Smith and obviously Roy Williams, but I think you have to give him the nod because of the longevity, because he did it in a different time where it's much harder. You know, you go back to when UCLA was one of those championships, you could be the number three team in the country, not even getting the turn. You finish second in your yeah. league. Uh, and so you didn't necessarily have to play type of depth and talent that the teams play today. And so that's why you couldn't be as dominant. And you factor in the one and done uh, and how that changes the whole makeup of coaching. And I got to give Coach K a lot of credit. Now, I, I, I'm really friendly with a lot of Duke guys. My wife is is a Duke alum from med school. Right. I still don't per love him, but I <laughs> yeah. respect him. <laughs> Coach, man, you, you have to tap to him. He's the GOAT, man. He, he really is. He, he's done it. Uh, the longevity, the level of consistency to be in his last year and still have a chance to win it all speaks volumes. Let me get to the NBA now. Who's your final four in the NBA? Because I'm looking in the, in the West and the Eastern Conference. I mean, damn, both conferences are loaded, GA. Who you got as your final four in the they, NBA? They are, well, I tell you what, this is probably – the most teams I can remember in my lifetime that legitimately have a chance to win it. And, and I mean, like, I, I, listen, I think Golden State and Phoenix are the two best teams in the West. And I think they're head and shoulders above everybody else. Went healthy. Because, like, people look at Golden State and their struggles. Remember, uh, and you saw it in the last game, how valuable Draymond is on both yep. sides. And the fact that they've got young guys now to be comfortable and confident um, I think they're going to be scary uh, come postseason along with Phoenix. So I got those as the two best, even though Memphis is a dog and they're coming. And I love that their, their energy and their confidence. Uh, yep. and John Moran has been incredible. I mean, but they're really good. I just think that those two teams, when you factor in their experience, gives them the nod when you start talking about a seven game series. Now, when you flip over to the East, man, the East is it's just crazy to me how much depth they have you know you you got to start with with milwaukee for me uh mm -hmm. even though miami's been pretty good i just think milwaukee the fact that they didn't have their starting center for the entire season uh and they're still right there with a chance to have a one seed uh and i like the moves they've made i i like them to get there and and man miami's really good uh Philly, I like, but they don't have the depth. You see it when you look at their second unit. They just don't have right. the depth I think you got to have. Uh, they can't win, it doesn't seem like, unless their two best players play really well. Right. Uh, and that's a concern. So I, I'm, I'm going to lean towards uh, Brooklyn, man. I really <laughs> feel like Brooklyn type of team, they could be an eight seed, but everybody right. knows they're not an eight. That's and if right. they get anything, see, Ben Simmons now will get to play to his strengths as opposed to being forced to play to his weakness in Philly. Ben Simmons is not a, a natural scorer of the basketball. He's much more like a Draymond Green. And if you yeah. highlight what he does well and allow him to just be him, mm -hmm. and now you got him with two guys that can go off at any time, and what he's going to do for them defensively is he's, if he's healthy, I, I just think they're the kind of team, man, that's yeah. going to be hard for somebody four times. And I'm going to throw a dark horse in for you for the final okay. four. It's the Clippers. It's going to be the L.A. Clippers. Wow. I, I think, again, if you look at their roster, they're going to get Paul George back. Listen, mm. they went to the conference finals last year without Clippers. Yeah, yeah. I can't you rule know? them out. And, and I can't rule them out. This 
roster is infinitely better than the one they had last year. And Ty Lu, for me, from an in game best coach, best coach they, in the NBA, game, he might be the best in the league. Before I let you get on out of here, now you my brother, you know that I got number love for you, and I know you're an outstanding basketball analyst. I know this, okay? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Anthony was once on NBA shoot around with yours truly, teaching me the game. Okay, I got all of that. I give you number love for it. And I love your son because Cole Anthony can ball and he's got tremendous promise. I like him a lot. But what the hell happened in that slam dunk contest? What's up with the Timberlands, Greg Anthony? What's up with the Timberlands? Well, you know, he's a man now, so I, it's not my place to <laughs> tell him what I actually made me instruct. I actually didn't mind the Timbs. Right. Uh, I would have preferred he not have done that dunk first. But you had a lot of guys, and you watched it. It was a horrible slam dunk contest first. Yeah, I'd yeah. be first to, to tell. Oh, I mean, and I mean from everybody's perspective. Yes, from everybody. They, they were a lot of experience, though, Stephen. A. You know, you got to have experience in those situations. And I think the fact that they started off with such a dud with so many missed dunks really hurt it. Uh, but listen, I will say this: he got a lot of love for the Tim, so I give him that credit. You know, okay. he, he, it it for me on social media, and right. he had fun with it, man. I'm proud of the young man. He's chasing his dream. Orlando's starting to play some good basketball. Yes, you, they you are. Might start. To next year. You okay. might actually say to him in a positive light next year, Stephen A. I hope I so. I think they're going to be infinitely better. Jonathan Isaacs hopefully comes back next year healthy. He's going to make a big impact. And they should end up with a top five pick. So uh, I, I like what they're doing with that young group. I hope so. I hope you're right because I want. I definitely want to say something positive about them. You're one of the best analysts in the game, no question about it. You're my brother, my friend. I'm so happy to see you, my man. All the best to you, and I'll see you soon. All right, Stephen A., all the best. Continue success, my man. And we'll Thank you, man. We'll talk soon. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.